Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Taz Cook, and I'm back here doing a commentary. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. What's up, everybody? Today, yes, I'm doing a commentary. It's Battlefield 3. I'm playing TDM on that night map. Uh, you know, the only one that has night in it. Um, but anyways, I just picked up that guy at the spawn. I love my first kill. Um, I'm using the UMP with uh, a silencer on it and also an RDS. Yes, that's right. I end up going like 20 something, 23 and 13, I think. But for the demonstration of this video, I edit it so you don't see my deaths. Yay, round of applause. So thank you, thank you. Because I want to show you guys only action. I don't, you know, if you die in Battlefield 3 and if you play Battlefield 3, you know you got to wait for about 10 seconds. Kind of like if you play hardcore TDM on Call of Duty, you know, there's a waiting period. So I figured I'd try to only give you guys the, the full aspect, the full dimension. What other big word can I use? I don't know. Only action. So here it is. This is a wicked long shot I get. I don't know how I got him. Uh, my health is like 60% right now, I think, but he was probably pissed off. I want to get some uh, quick things out of the way here. I'm, I might be doing a new little segment. Uh, I want to give you guys some weird news, maybe like funny news every time I do a commentary. And this time I got three cool stories for you. Well, uh, three fucked up stories, actually. The first one is, um, I don't know if you heard of it already, but this, this woman actually posed nude with a dead horse. Yes, <laughs> with a dead horse. They skinned it. Okay, get this. They skinned it. It's a 35-year-old horse that they had to put down. She got naked, all right, laid inside this dead horse and started taking nude pictures with it. Okay, uh, reality check are people going insane here come on now and, and get this they ate the horse after they they took these pictures um, these stories that I'm providing you today are from the Huffington Post uh, all shout outs go to them it's all their information I'm just re uh, relating it and and retelling you guys a story that I've heard okay so yeah they fucking took pictures with it naked that's a little weird and in my opinion I think they should serve some time I don't know about you guys but I don't agree with that shit man you can't kill animals and get naked and lie inside with them um, the next story I got is <laughs> a gun in a prosthetic leg yes that is right who like who is this guy he's a 66 year old man um, he's crazy obviously and he supposedly was a secret agent in the Vietnam I don't know maybe he killed bin Laden fuck who knows right yeah so he comes into the hospital wants to get a a leg operation and they find uh, like a rifle in embedded in his prosthetic leg what's next folks last thing is uh, my spider senses are tingling oh my god I'm getting robbed yes yeah, spider-man robs a gas station get this with a machete not web yeah with a machete okay on Halloween so I can see the gas station guy saying oh yeah um, you want a pack of Skittles or Smarties no I want everything in your cash register I can understand why he you know let the guy in with a mask on it's Halloween time and it happened um, in two different places throughout the uh, throughout America I do believe so anyways that's my new little segment that's the the crazy wacky news if you guys like it give a commentary let me know and if you don't like it I'm not gonna take the time to you know find the information of these funny stories and and, rela and give them to you guys so if you don't like it tell me I'll stop doing it you know it takes a little bit of homework to do these commentaries ah with that out of the way I can talk about this gameplay and as you can see this guy just killed me with an RPG so I come up and stab him in his neck I went all along down the side of the road, and this guy thinks he's going to get me an RPG, but he is incorrect. Talk to that, buddy. Yeah, and I love the fact that when you play this game, ribbons just keep popping up out of nowhere. It's just fucking awesome. It keeps you wanting to achieve more. And as of right now, for all you trophy lovers, I'm going for the, um, the all the rib ribbon trophy. I think it's a gold. I forget what it's called, but I think it's like distinguished soldier or something like that anyways another thing I want to ask is well not ask I guess tell you guys is that I'm looking for a new video intro for my channel um, it might a little bit be much too much to ask for but you know what there's a lot of people out there that have wicked skills with these uh, you know Adobe Photoshop's and Sony Vegas and all these video making stuff but I would just want to let you guys know I'd love to have a video intro for my channel I have one right now. It's 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 okay. I mean, shout outs to the guy that did it. I appreciate it. Um, I, what I want to be within the the video itself, I just wanted to say commentaries or commentary, gameplay, trophies, 
And I want that like little caption at the bottom with a cool logo above it, maybe something to do with ACT FPS. And then I want to have YouTube slash ACT FPS, kind of like the URL link to the, my channel. Now, if you guys can do this, I will put you in my other channels on my, my, my page, obviously. Uh, and that's all I can really do. I, don't, I can't afford anything. I can't, you know, give you my firstborn child. I'm sorry. But, you know what? It will go a long way. Trust me. I'm going to be doing these videos for a long time. And I'm getting a lot of positive feedback as of right now. So I can only hope for the best. And also with my trophy videos, thank you for, keep, thank you for everyone who's commentating and, and liking them. You know, it really does mean a lot to me because... It takes a shitload of time to make those videos, man. Like, well, most of them anyways. And I appreciate all my 49 subscribers. Sorry I didn't really talk on this gameplay footage today. It, it actually was a little bit shorter than I expected after the editing and everything. I think it was like a 15-minute long video for, at first. But after the editing of me dying like 12 times, I decided to, you know, cut it down a bit because it was boring. Uh... But, so yeah, if you guys can do that for me, that would be absolutely amazing. And it will be cool. I mean, it will get my, my YouTube ch channel a little bit more authenticity. If that's even how you pronounce the fucking word. So, yeah. But, keep in mind, I'm going to be around. Commentaries are still out there. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to keep providing you guys with comic relief and visual gameplay. That's me, Tazzy Cookie, signing out, baby. <laughs>